Okay, let's take a look at unit vectors. Okay, so what is a unit vector? A unit vector has a magnitude or length of 1. So that's all a unit vector is. So this is a unit vector if that's length is 1. This is a unit vector. This is a unit vector. That's a unit vector. These are all unit vectors if they have a length of 1. Okay? So no big deal. Very simple. Um, for example, if I were to represent my vector like this, uh, let's say 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2, then if I were to draw a picture of that, this would be my horizontal component, so I'd go to the right. So this is where I'm going to start. I would go to the right one half, and then my vertical component here would be up square root of 3 over 2. And my vector would be the arrow that starts here and ends here. So this is the vector that I've got here. And I can determine its magnitude, right? Because this is simply a right triangle. Um, the Let's call this vector v. The magnitude of vector v, we write with the absolute value bars, is what it, what it looks like. But just these vertical bars just in general means a distance from a starting point. So this is the distance, the length of this vector v. And it equals, by using the Pythagorean theorem, the square root of 1 half squared plus the square root of 3 over 2 squared, which is the square root of 1 fourth plus 3 fourths, which is the square root of 1, which is 1. So, since this vector has a magnitude of 1, this is a unit vector. Okay, so V is a unit vector. Uh, so we can we indicate that we can indicate that instead of using just the generic arrow on top, which means vector, to indicate the V is a unit vector, we can put a V and put a hat on top. So this indicates a unit vector. Okay, so hat means vector, but it also means that it's specifically a unit vector. All right, good. So maybe you can think of some other unit vectors. There are two very commonly used unit vectors uh, that you've been exposed to probably before. Maybe not. Um, but one of them is unit vector i. Sorry about that. Unit vector i and unit vector j. Now, since we like to work with horizontal and vertical components, these are horizontal and vertical unit vectors. So vector i is the horizontal unit vector. If I were to write it in component form, it would be the unit vector 1, 0, and it looks like this. It points directly to the right, and its length is 1, and it has a 0 vertical component. I'm sure you can guess then, unit vector j is the vertical unit vector, and it would be the vector that points up, so it has a zero horizontal component and a one vertical component, and looks like this. And its length is also one. Okay, so that's what a unit vector is, and that's what unit vectors i and j are, and that's where they come from whenever we represent vectors in component form with the i and j notation, such as uh, maybe if you've seen this, 2i plus 3j. These are the vectors I've detailed above, and once you learn how to do arithmetic on vectors, you'll learn how to multiply 2 by i, and then 3 by j, and then add those two things together.